How's it going, guys? You are watching Dirt Bike Channel. I'm your host, Kyle Brotherson, and I've got my test rider here, Sam Oldham, today. And we are going to be riding these two significantly ugly looking KTMs. I'm just kidding. I actually think they look pretty good. Some of you Yamaha guys and you Honda and Beta guys and Kawasaki guys, you probably think they're ugly. But then there's a bunch of dudes out there that know orange is the best color ever. Um, like hunters and stuff. Like hunters like orange, right? Yeah, I love orange. Yeah, so so orange, you know, and then you it's obviously easy to be seen. So what are we doing today? We've got a 2017 300XC. You guys have seen this on the channel a lot. And then we have a 2017 250 XC right over there. What I have done over the last several weeks um, is I've set these bikes up identically. They are set up as close to exact as I can possibly do. Um, the only thing that this bike has that, that uh, the 250 doesn't have is it has a rear disc guard. Other than that, I mean, they have a little bit different hand guards, I mean, but they're both flag style hand guards. Uh, they have a little bit different skid plates, but other than that, they are set up identically. The suspension, everything is the same. And I rode the 250 last week, a week ago today, out in a desert area, similar to what we're riding today. And I thought, is it possible for anything to be better than this? And I might actually, think that the 250 might be the one that, that I want that I want to keep so um, we're gonna we're gonna take a peek at them today now Sam you've owned a couple of 250s in the past um, how do you think that uh, how do you think they differ and what do you think we're gonna notice as far as differences today yeah I think out here in the desert with the 250 it seems like it's a, a more free revving motor I know we've talked about that in other videos but out here in the desert that makes a really big difference it feels more fluid, more fun, more snappier to where you can get in really good rhythm. Um, but I really think that we're going to be really surprised of how similar they are and how actually out here in the desert that the 250 probably is going to be a little bit better than the 300. Almost like the, how our Yamaha 250X was where we just felt out in the whoops, out in the, you know, the third gear stuff, it felt better. And I really think this 250 is going to do that over this 300. It's just going to feel a little better in the whoops and in the, the fast and flowy stuff. So last week, riding the 250, kind of going along with what Sam was just talking about, this 250 did just feel a little bit more free revving, which was kind of nice in the whoop sections and the higher speed sections because it just allowed you to stay a little bit higher up in the RPM range and feel like you weren't quite as flat. Uh, if there is one complaint with the 300s, it's that they have they make all their power in the low to mid range and then they're kind of flat on top where the power curve on this bike is different. On the 250, you get to feel that power curve uh, stay up higher longer in the RPM range, which is nice for when you get out and you want to move. Uh, so you end up shifting the bikes differently and we're going to find out exactly how that affects us today out here in the desert. Both of these bikes are very capable, um, but my gut feeling is that if you're going to do more wide open desert type stuff and it's not going to be quite as tight and quite as technical, you might actually feel better and more at home on the 250. Whereas if you were more of a, you know, all the time mountain single track rider where the speeds are going to be a little bit slower and the obstacles are going to be really, really tricky, lots of roots, lots of rocks, lots of um, really tricky sections where you're going to have to be going slower, I think the 300 may end up being the better fit for you. But uh, we're going to look at look at doing that, doing a little more testing on that today. Okay, now I'm back on the 300. We're going to see um, immediately the next couple times we're going to swap and see if we feel any difference in vibration in the bikes. That 250 XC has basically none. notice any any difference in vibration between the two motors they are both just butter smooth this thing is just so freaking awesome I noticed the seat softer on this because I put a different seat on this bike this is the uh, I think it would be with the Enduro Engineering uh, seat on this bike, just for fun. 
and it's the soft one, the thing's probably really hard. So now that it's now that the seat's broken in, it's definitely softer than the stock one on the other bike. quick then it's flat on the top it just invites you and beckons you to shift early whereas the 250 allows you to hold that gear a little longer let's check it check it real quick Hold them. Yep. Holy I love that 250. <laughs> okay, on the 250. So, I don't think there's a difference in the vibration though I think this bike is running a little better if I'm dead honest in the mid-range running a little bit cleaner the way I've got this one Jen and I spent a couple hours just trying to dial this one in and fine-tune the carb Guys, I've got a ton more coming out on these two bikes where we'll put a split screen up and do a wrap up video between these two. And I'll also be testing these up in the mountains when we get the snow to clear. So ton more to come on these two bikes. And if you like these videos, please remember to like the videos online, share them and subscribe to the channel. Thanks guys. Hey guys, if you didn't already know, Patreon is the best way to support Dirt Bike Channel. We've got some really cool rewards over there, so click on the link up here that you see to become a patron. That'll take you directly to our site, and you can check everything out. Uh, you can donate as little as $1 per month, and it would really, really help us out. Thanks a ton, guys.